A lot of us are, are struggling with illness right now. This is flu season, but it might not be flu that's got you down. A respiratory illness is making the rounds, and it is one that is hard to kick. Here's Sebastian Robertson. Steve O'Brien wasn't in a fun place. I will tell you when I had the bad part of the cough, uh, I'll spare you the details, but tell you that it was a productive cough. That thank you for sparing us the details. <laughs> for weeks, the father of young children was stuck between a cold and the flu. Sure, it could have been worse, but still not fun. You're kind of so congested everywhere that you kind of feel like you're in a tunnel. Turns out this is something doctors at Texas Health Resources have seen more of this winter. They're seeing patients sick with something more serious than the common cold, but still test negative for the flu. Often what follows is a nagging, hacking cough that can be pretty severe. There are other viral illnesses, you know, tens of thousands that are out that cause illness that are not the flu, but cause a flu-like illness. Dr. Glenn Hartsey has treated many patients for what he and others in his field believe is some type of viral infection. It's a deeper cough. It's a more disruptive to people's life. They're not able to sleep as well. This may be a mystery virus, for lack of a better word, but those same common sense practices still apply to fight against it. And on those front lines is, of course, hand sanitizer. Washing your hands can certainly keep a virus at bay. And if you haven't already, get your flu shot. It's never too late. I'll let the doctor say that again. Never too late to get a flu shot. It may not protect you from this viral infection, but it could keep influenza away, a condition that can be deadly to some. I'm proud to report that no one else in, in my office has gotten sick. So As for O'Brien, he's back in fighting shape, happy to leave this virus, whatever it may be, behind him. In Fort Worth, Sebastian Robertson, Channel 8 News.